Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to transfer music from your iTunes library into your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Anyways, um, first of all connect your iPhone to your computer, open up iTunes. So this is the latest version of iTunes, okay? So the latest version is 12.12, .12, I mean 12.2. Um, so once you have it open and your iPhone connected or your iPad, iPod Touch, you will see it right here on the left hand side, okay? So before anything, just click on there. And this is the first time I'm syncing up this iPhone, so it will take some time, okay? So from here, all you guys have to do is, well, you can make a backup at this moment, okay? But um, what we want to do is actually just uh, transfer music over. So there's various ways of doing it. You can sync with uh, over Wi-Fi. You can also just sync checked songs and videos. Um, and we're actually gonna do that. We're gonna click on there and we're gonna apply it. We are gonna erase and sync. So as you know, you can only sync up to one computer, basically. Um, so whatever, if you had another computer and you had different music, whatever music you have on this current computer will replace that that you have on your iPhone right now. If it's the same one, then don't worry about it. Just erase and sync, which I'm gonna do. And it should transfer just the music that I have. So I don't have that much music. It's only about 30 songs <laughs> and that's about it. I know most of you will have a huge library and uh, so this will take a little bit longer. Um, but this is the fast way of just transferring your music over, okay? I do suggest always making a backup on your iTunes. Um, just because this will not take take up space on your iCloud, okay? iTunes is separate. It will keep all your files right here on your computer, nice and safe. So once you do that, once you select check songs and everything, you should be good. Um, at this point, what you guys can do is just on your left hand side, you will see apps, music, and so on. So let's just go into music and let's activate this. So let's just click right here. Okay, and right now we can actually change this and we can just not put select music, but we can just select this album for example, or you guys can just select entire music library. Then you guys just have to put apply, and this will sync up your whole library. So at this point, yeah, I'm gonna sync up my entire library, but I showed you guys how to do it if you guys just want specific albums or songs, okay? So once you put apply, just put in sync one more time and let the tr songs transfer over. Now this should take not much, even if you guys have a bunch of songs, it shouldn't take that long to sync up. But yeah, that's the main thing that you guys have to do in order to transfer music over. In your iPhone, once it's synced up, um, you don't even have to disconnect it. You can disconnect it and you'll see this. So you will see recently added. So once you open up the app, same thing this iPhone has been updated so you can you know you have this new radio thing um, you also have this and you can join this for three months if you want if you want this I have I always put no thanks for now I'm gonna do that later on um, but anyways once you have your album for example you can just click on the first song that comes up you can just press play and down here below okay if you press play on it so hold on one second there we go so if you press play on it, then, okay, if you guys press play right here below, this should come up, and then you can see the rest of the songs just by pressing on the right hand side, you see these dots with lines. So down here, okay, so those lines, just click on those, and you'll see all the songs inside the um, album, okay? So that's just one way, there's millions of ways to look at albums in this app, so don't worry about that. Um, but anyways, that's it. Yeah, that's the way you do it. That's how it's gonna look on your phone. It's gonna sync up right away and it should work right away. So this is version 8.4 with the new music app and um, Yeah, that's about it. Now this goes for everything pretty much your apps You can be your apps. You can uninstall install them from here You can even transfer information from here from each app specifically same thing goes for movies and TV shows Okay um, books and so on. Um, I don't really do anything else such as photos and all that stuff. I just leave that up to photos library because if you're on Mac. If you're on PC then uh, I would sync for sure this option right here. Okay so if you're on PC Windows 8, Windows 7, whichever just uh, put a check mark here and sync it up. 
I don't need to do this because I'm on Mac right now. So I have my photos and that's the way they get transferred over. Uh, other than that, that's how you transfer music, guys. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.